Well, we're coming up on the time to uh, introduce new motions. This will be the last opportunity to do that. Here's what I would very politely and respectfully ask of you. If you are presenting a motion, please keep it short so that other people will have opportunities to get it done, all right? So if you can avoid the speech, this is what it's about. Quick, let us do that, and, and we'll all be happy campers. Amen? 5A. 5A. Your name, your church, and your motion, please. My name is Jason Sampler, messenger from Mercy Hill Church, Marietta, Georgia. I move that this convention request each of our entities to initiate a comprehensive review of their respective governing documents to determine whether their entity's current governance structures are sufficient as currently ordered to fulfill their ministry assignments. I further move that the result of these entity self-evaluations be reported back to the 2023 annual meeting, including any necessary amendments to their governing documents and with special attention paid to the size of their governing boards of trustees and the frequency of their board meetings. Where necessary, each entity should work in concert with the executive committee to bring recommendation efficiently to the messengers at next year's annual meeting. Thank you. And would you please give that to the page? Excuse me. Hold on. Is there a second to that? No. Thank you for that. Uh, sir, you've already made a motion, and it'd be best if other people have the opportunity, and then you can come at the end if there's time left to make another motion. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. The, not, the motion is not made. Thank you. 6A. My name is Matthew Boyle, the pastor and messenger of Old Lexington Baptist Church in Leesville, South Carolina. I move that the executive committee create a mental health commission. This commission will be comprised of leaders with an overtly biblical worldview and those with a sufficiently professional background directly related to the task. The commission will have a distinct function to support pastors and lay leaders on the one hand and training for pastors to support those within our congregations and communities living with mental illnesses on the other hand. The commission will also provide personal counseling resources to pastors and their wives and families and will be supported by the cooperative program. As with the right spirit of transparency, this commission would from the outset have an annual task force for the purpose of financial accountability, which will be reported to each annual South Southern Baptist Convention. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Is there a second? There is a second. If you would give that to the page, sir, we appreciate it. 1A, do you have a motion? Yes, yes, sir, thank you. I would like to introduce a motion, and I have just introduced it uh, in email form to the secretary, so he has that. I move, this is with regard to a good governance task force. I move that the newly elected president of the Southern Baptist Convention appoint a task force consisting of Southern Baptist members that do not currently work for any affiliated entity to study the convention structure and determine the effectiveness of the convention. The task force should specifically review and evaluate the governing documents of the convention and each entity that receives money through the cooperative program and report back recommendations to the 2023 annual meeting. The recommendation should include, but not be limited to, methods of holding entities accountable for the decision to the decisions of the messengers acting in our annual meeting, the effectiveness of each entity, whether trustees are receiving adequate legal, fiduciary, and parliamentary training to meet the needs of their responsibilities, and recommendations for the potential changes to composition and structure of any SBC affiliated entity. This task force can once and for all put to bed many of the issues about the effectiveness motives and intent of our entities. And I so move, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Is there a second? There is a second. Would you please give that to the page? And thank you, my brother. 1B. Microphone 1B with a motion. State your name and your church and your motion, please. I am 
Jacob Jackson. I'm the uh, pastor, pastor and messenger of Covenant Life Church in Richmond, Virginia. I know we're all hungry, uh, but if you'll just give me a moment. I stand up to speak on behalf of the preconceived, unborn, and the never will be born people as they have no voice that can be heard except by our Father who is in heaven. On the precipice of such an historic time as this, where the Dobbs case will likely be overturned and the issue of infant murder, more comfortably referred to as abortion, will be turned over to the states, I have a resolution to propose for consideration. I am proud of the men, women, and children that have expended so much My brother, my brother, I'm sorry. Could you get to the, the words that say, I move that? Yes, I, I, I'm getting there. Could you get there now? Sure. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. That's, that's fine. <laughs> My motion, without honoring those who are doing the work, because I've been asked to move forward, is that I move that the SBC, let me find where I'm at here, sorry. Sorry. It's OK. Let's see. I'm thank here it is. I'm thankful for the outspokenness of the SBC against abortion, but I now ask the messengers of the SBC to request that the SBC would take the necessary steps to equip, to equip, fund, and support sidewalk missionaries as a recognized, sanctioned, and supported ministry of the Southern Baptist Church. Amen. Ministries such as Love Life have done a valiant job doing this, but without the funds and cooperative power that the SBC wields. We truly are better together. Can we please be better together as it pertains to caring for infants and adults that Thank have been victimized by abortion? Thank, Thank you. you. Is there a second to this brother's motion? Then if you would please give that to the page, we thank you for that. S microphone 7A. My name is Scott Smith, messenger from Southside Baptist Church in South Bend, Indiana. I would like to make a motion requesting that the trustees of the Executive Committee of the Southern Baptist Convention study and examine the internal measures of accountability of all paid executive committee staff to said trustees for their day-to-day -day actions relating to the convention. Subsequently, I request that the trustees of the executive committee make any needed policy or structural changes that they can and that are within their purview, or if necessary, bring any recommended changes in either how said staff operates or is structured before the convention at the annual meeting in New Orleans in 2023. Is there a second to your motion? There is a second. My brother, would you please give that to the page to submit it? Thank you so much. 2A, 2A. Microphone 2A. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Parker Roberts. It's me again. Hi. Um, I'm pastor of Mount Moriah Baptist Church in Troy, Alabama. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Um, I would like to amend the Baptist Faith and Message Article 1 regarding the scriptures that we add this line after the second to last sentence. Therefore, the scriptures hold the ultimate authority over the Southern Baptist Convention, the church, and the individual, and therefore hold the final say in doctrine and policy. This is in regards to uh, uh, previous speakers' remarks um, and uh, Contrary to his goodbye remarks, the sufficiency of Scripture is not a secondary issue. Brother, thank you. Thank you. You've made your motion. Is there a second? Thank you. Would you please submit that to the page? Microphone to be. Something or, or not to be. I am Greg Davidson, Mr. President. I am the pastor of Trinity Baptist Church in Vacaville and also represent these fine California Baptists. I want to make a motion that the task force established by the report of sexual abuse task force would consider encouraging churches to support their local shelters and safe ministries for the sexually abu abused mm. that provide housing, food, shelter, 
economic assistance, and legal aid, which would bring the full force of the justice system to their sexual abusers. Thank you. Is there a second? There is a second. Brother, would you hand that into the page? And thank you so much. If we could, in the back, please be quiet. It will help everyone hear better. Thank you. 4A, microphone 4A, your name, your church, and your motion. I'm Timothy Livingston from First Baptist Church of Piedmont, Oklahoma. I move to amend the bylaws of the SBC under Section 20 entitled Committee on Resolutions as follows, in order to allow for each year's recommendations from the committee to be published no later than 30 days prior to the start of the SBC annual meeting. So under Section 20, I move to strike the number 75 from the first sentence, as well as each following instance of the number under Section 20, and replace it with 105 in each instance, thereby reading at least 105 days in advance of the convention. I further move to strike 15 from the phrase following all proposed resolutions shall be submitted to the committee for review and consideration as early as April 15th and replace it with 45, thereby reading all proposed resolutions shall be submitted to the committee for review and consideration as early as April 15th, but no later than 45 days prior to the Southern Baptist Convention annual meeting. I further move that the following sentence be am amended to add the phrase, published no later than 30 days prior to the start of the SBC annual meeting. Originally reading, the committee on resolution shall prepare and submit to each annual meeting of the convention only such resolutions the committee recommends for adoption. With the amendment, the sentence would now read, the committee on resolution shall prepare, comma, publish no later than 30 days prior to the start of the SBC annual meeting, comma, and submit to each annual meeting of the convention only such resolutions the committee recommends for adoption. Thank you. Is there a second? There is a second. If you would please submit that to a page. Thank you. Microphone 3A. Your name, your motion, and yeah, your name, your church, and your motion. Microphone 3A. Microphone's not on at 3A. Yeah. Try it again. Is it on? Nope. It's not on. Brother, could you go right behind yourself where you're at now to microphone six? If you would go do that and then punch the motion button there. There you go. Yeah, just turn on six. Thank you. All right, your name, your church, your motion, please. Mr. President. Oh, man. We got you. It's on now. That's helpful. My name is Bill Tackett. Hi, Bill. I'm with <laughs> Sorry, I just, I missed you at three, and now you're at six. Yeah. I just want to say hi. Well, greetings from Deer Creek Baptist Church, Amen. Stroud, Oklahoma. I move that bylaw 26B, or appropriate bylaw if mistaken, be amended to insert the words with the exception that the motion is for an investigation of the very institution which would review the motion. I further move that it is effective for all motions at 
the Southern Baptist Convention 2022 at Anaheim, California. The motion, Mr. President, has been submitted electronically. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there a second? There's a second. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Microphone 3B. It's working. A miracle has taken place. Um, Mr. President, my name is Malachi O'Brien. I'm a messenger from the very charismatic church at Pleasant Ridge in Harrisonville, Missouri. I, sit, I move that, howbeit this will be ruled out of order, that we as a convention, after the vote for recording secretary just happened, that we just take a moment to honor Dr. John Yates for his 25 years as recording secretary of the SBC. What a man of God. Would you like to do that, Malachi, right now? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, would you give a standing ovation and honor to Dr. John Yates for his faithful service to the Southern Baptist Convention? Dr. Yates, we appreciate you and thank God. Malachi, that was a very good, good C, recommendation. 2C, microphone 2C, your name, your church, and your motion, please. Yes, my name is uh, Chris Whitney. I am the pastor at uh, Foothills Southern Baptist Church of Yuma, Arizona. I have two motions, I'll be very quick. No, uh, sir, excuse me, you can only do one at a time, please. One at a time, okay. Um, so I move that uh, the new president, upon assuming office, instruct Guidepost Solutions to hand over the report on sexual abuse allegations within the SBC, along with all the documentation they gathered to generate said report to the proper police authority i.e. the Nashville Police Department as soon as possible in its entirety. Is there a second? There is a second. Would you please submit that to the page? Thank you. Thank you, brother. Microphone 5A. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is M. Ryan Ogle, and I'm the assistant pastor and duly elected messenger from Union Missionary Baptist Church, Cleveland, Tennessee. Like so many of our pastors, I am bivocational. During the week, as I serve as a kindergarten through eighth grade public school librarian. I hold an MA in pastoral ministry from NOBTS, but I also hold a Master of Library Science from a large state university in Tennessee. This is the foundation of my motion. Brother, would you get to I move that? I do therefore move and petition the executive committee of the SBC and the Council of Seminary Presidents to join together in examination of the formation of a Master of Library Science program apart from the ALA. Thank you. Is there a second? There's a second. If you would submit that to the page, brother, we appreciate it. Microphone 4B. Scott Frady, West Hickory Baptist Church, Hickory, North Carolina. I bring a motion today to amend the Southern Baptist Convention Constitution to require all churches that desire to be in cooperation with the Southern Baptist Convention affirm their adherence to the Baptist Faith and Message 2000. In our times of turmoil inside and outside the church, the doctrinal baseline of the Baptist Faith and Message 2000 is necessary for our cooperative work of missions to proceed unimpeded. Is there a second to his motion? There is a second, brother. If you would give that to the page, we would appreciate it. Microphone 4C. Microphone 1A. Yes, sir. My name is Nathan Stuller, messenger from Sojourn Church in Belleville, Illinois. Um, I first have a point of order. Uh, Bylaw 1D only permits, only forbids a second motion from a messenger during the same business session. Um, no one yet has made a second motion during this business session. So my second motion should be in order. All right. 
I move to amend the bylaws of the Stop, amendment. stop, just for a second, please. The parliamentarian tells me that the rule is that no one can make a second motion until all others have made their motions who want to make their motions. The point of order is not well taken. Thank you. 1B, please. Yes, this, this is Craig Hartzog. I'm a member and pastor on staff at Central Baptist Church, Warner Robins, Georgia. I move that the Southern Baptist Convention allow messengers going forward to be vetted and registered at the local association and allow the full voting rights and participation in the annual Southern Baptist Conventions from those associational sites. Hmm. Due to the high cost of travel and the advanced technologies of our day, we can have more messengers from our local churches participate in the annual meetings through our local associations. The executive committee and the credentials committee would be responsible for carrying this action out. This was previously submitted online to the app. Thank you so much, my brother. Is there a second to that motion? I think that's pretty clear. There's a second. And so if you would submit that and you already have electronically. Thank you. We have time for one more motion. We have time for one more motion. 6B. Mr. President, my name is Andrew Abbott. I'm a messenger from Calvary Baptist Church in Leavenworth, Kansas. I move that Saddleback Church be disfellowshipped from the SBC due to their blatant violation of the Please, Baptist sir, faith. Stop, and stop, stop, stop. We cannot disparage another church. We cannot disparage another person. But there's another reason, and, and that is that we have a motion like that that's already under consideration. So the chair does not receive your motion. Time has expired.